Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The chamber is now back in session. Et l'audience reprend. We will now continue to hear the testimony of the civil party commitment. Commit, from what I see, Commit. you seem to be in a better position now. Me semble que vous allez un peu mieux maintenant. This morning, because of your uh, matin, emotional situation and because it's almost time to break, ému, that's why we uh, mais, et puis had du déjeuner, a break donc earlier. Nous avons and now, lors de la pause, nous pouvons maintenant can you continue the description of your accounts que vous pouvez during the time la, that you votre, lived votre through the democratic Cambodian regime until you returned to your normal living condition, continuing from where we stopped. Pouvez-vous reprendre le fil de votre récit là où vous vous êtes interrompu? Commit, uh, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. Entering 1978 into the unit 17, en 1978, dans l'unité 17, we were to work in the nous étions affectés aux rizières. We worked in several places, nous for example, at Kropoha Pagoda, at Slang Pagoda, and a number of other pagodas. Et à différentes autres my unit uh, prepared all the necessary tools, including the holes, the carrying baskets, the carrying poles, the carrying the seedlings. The tiges pour les bâtons pour porter les plantules. We started working from the morning and we stopped at 5 or 6 p.m. Sometimes when it was busy, we stopped at about 10 p.m. And the unit chief woke us up at 2 or 2.30 in order to prepare ourselves and the tools for our for our work. So we organized in our respective units. Nous nous organisions ainsi euh, chaque unité pour son propre compte. Sometimes when a banana or a fruit was missing from the unit S'il manquait une banane ou un fruit dans l'unité, le chef d'unité viendrait trouver chacune who was a member of the unit and smell the breath. And if she could smell the breath of the fruit, then that person was taken away for re-education and disappeared since. So my group tried to work very hard. Parce qu'elle pouvait à la laine détecter to leave for work at 3 a.m. Sometimes it took us an hour to reach the workplace. Some would fall into the ditch because it was still dark and exhausted. And a lot of female members got some wounds, skin rashes, and cracks on their feet. Des problèmes cutanés avaient des coupures myself, pour ma part. Got some fresh skin lies like the rest of the team. J'avais des poux, comme tout le monde dans mon équipe. During the six months period that I stayed there, I was in a very bad shape. 
J'étais dans un I was so skinny. J'étais tellement maigre. And I had a rash on my skin. Et j'avais un problème. I looked like a dead person already. J'avais l'air d'être j'avais l'air morte d'ores et déjà. We were assigned a quota to transplant the seedlings in each team. De Five people were assigned to work to transplant the seedlings for one hectare. Il But la in our female unit, de tout un it was Dans mon unité, almost impossible for us to complete the quota impossible. because of the weakness of our strength nous and the insufficient food. Alimentation était insuffisante. Some would just fell back into the water because Certaines of the exhaustion. Se dans We were also monitored on the techniques we used to transplant the seedlings, whether the transplants would grow properly within seven days to ten days. If the transplants did not grow to the standard, then we would be accused of being traitors, that we destroyed the Ancas or the party's property. La propriété so we were so scared. Nous étions donc, uh, we worked hard. We had insufficient food. At that time, there was no rice at all. We only had a gruel. Il avait pas de riz à manger And du tout. Nous que one ladle per each Et person donc, uh, with a very watery soup. After we finished the délégué. gruel, we just looked at each Quand other's mouths uh, out of hunger. Our teeth were all black. We all had a very fearful feeling. We had no right and there was no treatment when we were sick. One day in my Four-person group. Dans mon groupe, constitué de quatre personnes. We we talked and we nous made our decision that because the situation was so difficult, we probably should just commit a suicide together. One woman said, "Don't ever think about that. Non, we have to struggle to survive." Nous devons lutter pour survivre. And another person uh, named Kien, she Kien got a nose uh, disease. Elle avait, uh, une maladie au nez. She went to work with me at the Kropelha Pagoda to clear the ground in order for, for planting potatoes. En vue une plantation de de terre. She was told that uh, by using a types of a tree leaves uh, to grind those leaves de feuilles and mix d'un arbre particulier si as on a herb, voyait, it could si be treated for her nose disease uh, d'herbalisme on pouvait s'en servir pour uh, traiter son we sometimes just thought of committing suicide because Mais of the miserable living condition à différents moments au suicide parce que nos conditions d'existence étaient tellement impossibles. At night time, the two of us la nuit, drank the herbs that we mixed from the back of the tree and we thought that we would be dead because of the effects of the tree's back. Tant était so we drank de cette écorce. and we filled Nous ourselves with that uh, herb water, but cette, uh, we did not die and we seemed tisane. to gain strength. En fait, nous ne so at two o'clock we were woken up and we continued to go to work. Each day we were so 
exhausted because of the insufficient food and the hard working condition. One day I fell into a ditch and a person just dragged my feet and pinched my thigh and scolded that I was stubborn and that I was tricky and lazy to work. But Comrade Kien did not come to work on that day as he had no problem and swollen legs. So she asked for permission not to come to work. I just kept uh, doing what I was told to transplant the seedlings. And in late 1978, we were still working in the rice fields near the Kropeha Pagoda. And sometimes other units uh, lacked some forces to complete their quota. Then we were requested to assist them to reach the quota. That is to achieve the 3.5 or 4 tons of rice production per hectare. At the end of the working hours, I came back to my place and I couldn't find Comrade uh, Kuhn. She was not there. I did not dare to ask for her whereabouts. There was another female in the, the same unit, and she told me that uh, Comrade Kien was taken away. She had her problems with her feet. It was swollen. On another occasion, I cannot recall the exact month, but it was the times that the rice was almost ripe. My group was also assigned to the canal. At that time, all, a lot of old people disappeared, and new people came in their place. I remember one day, while we were assigned to the canal or to build a dam at Prejre, in order to build the water reservoir, A unit chief erected a pole and set up a loudspeaker. At that time, I was so weak. I could, I could dig the soil and put it in the basket for people to carry on the pole, but I myself could not carry the basket because I was so weak. And when I could not do that, then the unit chief demanded to know the reason, and I told her that I would not be able to carry because I was so weak. And at about 10 a.m., she pushed me against the the rice dike, and I begged her that I needed to stop a little bit longer in order to regain my strength. I was warned that I had to try my best or I would be disappeared. So then I sat on the 
rice dike on the other side of the ditch. Sur la digue, a combatant came to me and asked why I did not work. Le combattant est venu me trouver, m'a demandé pourquoi je ne travaillais pas. I told the person pas. that je I could not uh, carry on any longer. Then another woman was dragged to where I sat because she could not work as well. Elle aussi n'arrivait pas à travailler. Whatever I was asked to do, I tried my best to carry it out, but I could not carry the salt in the basket because of my weak, of my weak strength. So that combatant came to us and just without any reason beat us up. And after that, he just walked away. I felt so scared and I became unconscious. Et perdu it's, it's the faint uh, from shock. Le choc. Le choc qui and fait it was almost lunchtime, and then everyone went déjeuner. for their meal, but I could not regain my strength to walk force, uh, to have my meal. Then you know, the unit chief asked chef how I felt and whether I still could get my food. Si the unit chief told me manger. that you no longer had your food dit, because you had been sick for so many days. Tu as été and de... you're supposed to be the model for the newcomers. De jours. Instead, you had been sick for, for so many autres. times. En fait, tu and I told her I could not do the work because of my weak strength. I thought that if I was not given food, then there is no choice for me to carry on. I would not feel fearful of the unit chief. I would just eat anything in order to, just to regain my strength. Luckily, I found a right time. I found a right palm fruit near its tree. So I picked it up. I ate je it. Ramassé, je mangé. At that time, people already returned back to work, and a revolutionary song was played on the loudspeaker. When they and the rest of the team saw me eating the Palm fruit, I was warned that I needed to be careful. If they saw you eating it, you would be in trouble. I thought I would not feel scared of them anymore. Then I was dragged before them. And I had to repeat myself that the rest need not to follow me because I was a bad element. So people just stood there and watched me. We were all so skinny. I was ordered to crawl. On fait I did as I was ordered, and after a while, I fainted again. Au moment, de nouveau perdu connaissance. I felt so hungry. Tellement affamé. So I went back to pick up the Je palm fruit that I ate earlier and continue eating it again. I sat there and I just ate the palm fruit. 
I thought if I were to be killed because of eating the fruit, let it be, because I felt so hungry already. I know I was no longer scared of them. Because the old people who came with me, most of them already disappeared. And the new people around me, they were new, they just arrived. When the Yudachis walked past by, I did not care. If they wanted to kill me, let it be. So later on, after all returned back to the unit, two men came to me, one snatched the palm fruit from me and threw into the water. And the person asked me whether I would be able to go back to my place. I told the person I no longer could walk because of the feet. I got a lot of wounds on my feet. Then he said uh, he would accompany me to Il go back. So pour, uh, he took me back to my place. He Il dragged me across the rice fields. En me traînant à travers les rizières. I was not taken to my unit, but I was taken to another group. So it was no longer at the Unit 17 where they took me. Unité. It was another unit and they planted vegetables in that unit. There were some older ladies plus in that unit and they had me have a shower and Elles gave me food me laver, to eat and uh, some clothes. When we worked in building the dam, we tried our best to accomplish the quota. If we reached the quota earlier, then we would be able to rest earlier. For example, if we completed the quota at 3.30, then we could stop at 3.30. So when I was taken to another unit in Donc, planting the vegetables, they have all types of uh, vegetable seedlings to be planted. De qui être I was told how to take care of the young plants il and to plant plantules. those uh, Young seedlings. I was then asked to carry the water from a river in order to water the vegetable. I stayed in that unit for four or five days, and that location was in Kortum. When I was in that unit, I could Pendant eat dans cette sufficient food. Pu à ma faim. I had stayed there for three months, so we grow all types of uh, vegetables, the cabbage, Nous the beans, pousser toutes sortes de légumes, des choux, des haricots. and when the production when the vegetable was collected, then Et a car would come to collect those vegetables and taken away. Later on, while we, I was still working with that uh, unit in planting vegetables, we heard the gun fight. Probably we heard that, oh, now there was 
again to fight an explosion in Phnom Penh. And we consulted each other and that we should leave the unit, so we packed our belongings and we got a boat to cross the river at night at 7 p.m. Then we heard that the an armor tanks of uh, Vietnamese soldiers were approaching, so we ran across the rice field towards the north direction. We ran day and night. Some people failed and stood up and continued running. Nobody cared about anybody. Everybody just tried to flee. On reprit la course, and personne ne s'occupait des autres, c'était chacun pour soi. In the dans cette fuite, uh, le soir, plantation, nous avons dormi dans une plantation de Kampong Trolak, district de in Kampong Chnang province. province uh, uh, de uh, uh, was the unit uh, chief who pronounced that all, late, all women and youth femmes et tous les jeunes who gathered here should gather and then uh, regroup so that we could have the the unit uh, and a group so we can uh, start to harvest uh, the rice pour que puisse commencer rice. à faire la récolte de riz and uh, the male colleagues were asked uh, to transport Quant rice. Hommes, on leur a At the beginning, we did not know one another. And uh, we worked together. And at least uh, we had to transport nous avons the rice five times et nous a avons day fait, uh, to Kampong Tralak, warehouse, where uh, 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 par jour. And uh, then we had to harvest the Ensuite, peanuts. Il a fallu récolter and les cacahuètes. Uh, later on, we les were asked et, uh, to tard, meal the rice uh, and transport uh, them to be stored in the jungle because ailleurs there encore were some sheds uh, and uh, des, bans in those uh, uh, jungles. For storing spéciaux qui se them. trouvaient dans la jungle. At that time, the Vietnamese uh, already approached à ce the location. les Vietnamiens approchaient déjà. And uh, we also, among our groups, discussed that we could dans notre, be dans friend groupe, uh, and then had to try to run nous nous disions que from being involved in the military any long, longer. And uh, of course, other female pour ne plus être colleagues would uh, remain being in the soldier, uh, in the army, but then we tried to escape. But later on, we heard uh, through this loud speaker plus tard, par les haut-parleurs, nous avons saying that anyone who deserted the military had to come back to join the army to save the people. Devrait revenir et réintégrer l'armée pour sauver uh, le peuple. After one truck left, uh, we gathered under a big tree un to make a decision whether we should move forward or we should come back. But after some discussion, uh, Et après, the decision was made that we should not discuté, go back because we would be arrested by the Vietnamese and that uh, our heads uh, would be uh, put on the grounds and wildfire would be uh, lit uh, to burn the tea. Et on and that the uh, women would be La raped l'histoire by des those personnes Vietnamese enterrées jusqu'au cou sur la tête desquelles on pose une théière brûlante. Nous avions très très peur de penser que les Vietnamiens so, risquaient d'arriver et nous avions très très peur uh, de leur cruauté. Nous avions travaillé notre meilleur et que nous ne serions pas uh, willing to de notre côté, nous avions toujours travaillé autant que nous avions pu the, the uh, ca catch us and to arrest us or to Et rape. Nous avions très peur d'être prise uh, par les Vietnamiens. In mid uh, 1979, we reached Oral 
Mountain. Nous sommes finalement arrivés au Mont I was Oran. Very sick. Moi, j'étais très malade. No more food, no more rice. Il n'y avait plus rien à manger, no il n'y avait salt. plus de riz, il n'y avait plus de sel. So we try to dig a wild et plant nous mangeons des plantes sauvages des racines. Beaucoup d'entre nous ont été empoisonnés roots. parce que nous And avons mangé des racines qui ne sont pas propres à la consommation. Et nous avons hit ourselves dans le jungle. Nous nous sommes donc And cachés dans la jungle. Et nous ne pouvions pas être vus par ces soldats. Sinon, nous aurions été tués. Et nous aurions été tués. Sinon, nous aurions été tués. I could not get better. Je n'arrivais pas à me remettre. Some people came to collect us to cross the border, and I told them that I had malaria and I had a problem with my legs. I could not move any further. Then I was left behind in the camps. On m'a laissé au camp. The sites, refugee camps, of course, and then I could live on eating the bamboo shoots and drinking the water from the pond. And there was a seven-year-old girl who was crying. She 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 was crying. Et nous sommes ainsi arrivés à un autre camp. I was told the camp for soldiers. On m'a dit que c'était un camp de soldats. I was cured and well treated. Là, j'étais soigné et bien traité. To move ahead, I told myself that if I had to go further. I would not know where would I be at the end. I decided to hide myself in the villages, and then I was asked for by the chief of the unit. People in the village would conceal. I help conceal me, and I could stay with them. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked me to come back. And then the Vietnamese soldiers asked I was arrested along with that seven-year-old boy. J'étais arrêté en même temps que cet enfant, ce garçon de sept ans. And we were transferred to Rom Tual village in Trapang Kralang. It was a big office. I could see. We were put in that office, and. We had a translator who helped translate our conversation. They asked me where I we came from. Then we said we came from the mountain. And the woman assured us that since we were in the hands of the Vietnamese soldiers, that we were already safe. And I still recall the time when we were discussing under a big tree about being arrested by the Vietnamese, then they would rape us. So that kind of memory kept haunting me, and I was so scared that one day the Vietnamese would rape me, but the next day I could not see anyone around me. I only saw the young boy sleeping next to me. So three days at that camp in Trapang Kralang, 
soldiers who asked us a lot of province, questions and they have Khmer, my biography registered uh, uh, and uh, they asked why I looked uh, so thin, you know, si maigre, uh, so weak et si faible, and uh, I told them all the details. Je leur ai raconté, uh, tous les détails. Then the soldiers sent Ensuite, les me uh, the gave me a kind of letter. In the letter, it reads that whenever I reached any uh, village, then those village uh, si are, uh, villagers village, are advised to share food uh, with me. So me with that letter, I could have some, uh, I could find it easy to Et move about. Later on, the village chief allowed me to stay in his home, village, and I could see every morning maison, the Vietnam, the uh, Vietnamese armies and Khmer soldiers would uh, uh, conduct uh, uh, some kind of military uh, maneuver. Qui, uh, des and I kept uh, walking along National Road uh, number 4 route and quatre, then uh, because the pied, boy was so weak uh, when I saw faible, someone was uh, riding a an ox cart, I asked uh, them for a lift uh, beu, so that the, the boy could be uh, carried on that ox cart. I told them that I um, found uh, this boy in the jungle, then the boy was given the lift. Forêt. Et les gens, euh, effectivement, nous le laissaient monter sur leur charrette. When we reached the village, the ox cart uh, went ahead of me, and uh, when Moi, we reached the village, I tried to ask for the village, boy then people would know, not know where the boy would je, je, be. Nous sommes arrivés dans un village, la charrette était, avait pris les devants, et quand je suis arrivé au village, j'ai demandé où était le garçon, on n'a pas pu me répondre. Là, je the suis resté morning, une nuit, le matin suivant, j'ai continué à marcher la journée entière, jusqu'à ce que j'arrive à Odam, village. le village de Odam. Then I reached Chao Chao Roundabout, which is next to the Po Chon Tong Airport, Chum Chow, oh, International okay. Airport à côté now. De de po and uh, I was asked where I came from demandé, uh, by an old lady. I told her that actually I was demandé, coming from the mountain. I was hopeless montagne, and that the woman uh, showed uh, her sympathy for me and that she asked uh, uh, if I could stay with her si and uh, I was scared actually with the offer fait, anyway. Uh, I thought that uh, uh, it would not be a good offer. Uh, I was afraid that she would uh, keep me uh, uh, to be arrested uh, by the soldiers. Uh, but the woman insisted that uh, she was frank soldats, and guaranteed that uh, she would be in a good hands. So I was convinced and stayed with her for one month. Passé un Later mois on, cette femme. the village chief came Ensuite, to ask for my biography and my and that old lady. The old lady said that I was her uh, god daughter and asked the village chief to also register me, me in the list as the normal villagers in the village. And I then started to live as the normal Et là, j'ai recommencé à vivre in the comme village, un villageois uh, ordinaire. Later on, my Et à faire des travaux d'agriculture. That old lady, après cela, cette femme âgée, devenue ma marraine, to the military base. I did not know whether what kind of business here she was dealing with. After three months, uh, during the time I spent with her, maybe not three months, less than three months, j'ai passé trois mois, peut-être moins que trois mois avec elle. Um, I did have uh, good food with her. I was well fed. Uh, I ate a lot of good food. 
until I looked better and en fait, much healthier. Beaucoup, copieusement et and je I me knew suis that rétabli. I now live and never die je again. Que, and coup, uh, je people vivre saw me as a stranger. They kept asking me where I was uh, uh, originally from. I think I, I was from venais. Kampong Tom. Origine, the president interrupts. Uh, president let's stop here. It's, it, sounds of, uh, it sounds like a uh, a very good story. So can we go back a little bit? Je vous remercie pour ce récit. Mais when je voudrais you maintenant were que nous arrêté un peu en arrière. Vous avez été arrêté et incarcéré. What date was nous dire la date and de votre what time when you arrestation were arrested? et l'heure. Response. Réponse. When I was arrested, uh, it was at 12 midnight. J'ai été arrêté à minuit. In November 1977. Do you remember the day? Question. Vous vous souvenez du jour exact? The 10th of November. Réponse. Le 10 Mr. novembre, President, Monsieur le Président. The civil party. The President, uh, when you were Lorsque arrested, vous avez été arrêté, were you Immediately shackled, que vous avez été or your hands were tied and then blindfolded before you were sent into the detention facility. Vous vous Response. From the place where I was arrested uh, to Brother Wynn's house, I was not du lieu où j'étais arrêté jusqu'à la maison Wynn, de Hinge, a été entravé. Made the decision to arrest me. Maison de Wynne. Uh, and I was waiting with uh, de other guards until Moi, too late at night and I was so sleepy. Tard dans la Then nuit. Uh, they said that uh, I would uh, abort uh, the car and then, uh, then I was tight and blindfolded. Mais finalement, on the president lié les mains, so you were les yeux. sent to the Question, prison by a car, is that correct? La prison dans un véhicule, n'est-ce pas? Response. It was Réponse. a truck, not a car, Mr. President. Uh, pas une the voiture, un camion. big truck. There un were two camion. guards and one gardes. driver. I was not yet blindfolded back then, then, so I could see les yeux, those men were donc, armed euh, and the driver. Étaient so all together, I myself and three other donc, people, total, I mean the Khmer Rouge soldiers. Y avait trois soldats and Khmer then et moi later on, I was blindfolded tard, and on we sur les yeux. the prison. Et on emmené à la prison. The president, before you were Question. entering the Prison. How were you treated? Avant que nous n'entrions à la prison, comment étiez-vous traité? Response. Before Réponse. I was sent into the prison, I was not tortured. Je n'ai pas été torturé avant d'être envoyé à la prison. About ten minutes. On m'a fait marcher pendant environ vingt minutes. Until we reached a room. Jusqu'à ce que nous arrivions Then à they une opened pièce. the door and pushed me inside and untied the. Jusqu'à ce que nous arrivions à une pièce. Sorry, um, et removed puis the blindfold. On a retiré le bandeau Then que j'avais sur les yeux. Immediately, I could see two people who once worked in the same unit with me inside their room. Deux membres uh, de la même so unité. So I could see after I was removed from the blindfold. Je les ai vus quand on m'a débandé les yeux. What time was it when you entered the prison? Question, à quelle heure êtes-vous entré dans la prison? Response. It was at dawn. C'était à l'aube. Uh, you mean dawn when you Question. could not yet see everyone clearly? L'aube, vous voulez dire qu'on ne voyait pas encore clairement? Like in the morning. Ou bien, est-ce que c'était déjà le matin? Uh, response. It, it was at dawn, Mr. President. It was not yet clear that we could not see matin, one another Monsieur clearly. Président, on ne voyait pas encore très bien. The President, uh, when you were le sent président. in, were your Lorsque biography avez... and photograph taken? 
lorsqu'on a pris plutôt votre biographie et votre photo. Before you were being sent into that room. C'est à quel moment avant qu'on vous euh, mette dans yeah. une cellule? Response. Réponse. So far as I recollect, uh, Autant, je me I was not uh, taken any biography or photograph. But when I was at the unit, photo. I would very Mais often uh, quand à uh, obtained là, très souvent, the biography time and again. Sometimes I was so bored uh, giving the same biography to the people who asked me again and again. C'était parfois même très ennuyeux de devoir toujours The president, so when the, during Question. the time when you were detained Pendant for about a fortnight, uh, you were not jours, asked to give them the biography or you were not taken photograph. Is that correct? Photo. Is exact? Response, yes, it's correct, Mr. President. Réponse, oui. The president, during the... 15 days, 15 nights in your captivity. Vous avez passé 15 jours et 15 nuits Were you en captivité. Relieved from being tied up. Est-ce que pendant ce I mean, temps uh, on your hands or were you tied up the whole days? On vous a libéré de vos yeah, liens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Est-ce que vous étiez euh, Respond. Est-ce que vous avez eu lien en tout temps? I was tied up for three days and three nights. Réponse. J'ai été lié pendant trois jours et trois When nuits. They took me to be interrogated, Quand they would tie up my hands and blindfold me, me. But then they would les walk me to the room on and remove uh, the blindfold. La de Là, on the me the president, les in yeux. your detention cell, was it? Euh, dans votre de were you detained in a big room? And how many detainees que were detained in that dans room? Une grande cellule? With you. Uh, combien y avait-il de personnes dans la cellule? Response. Réponse. The room was not uh, very big. La pièce n'était pas It très grande. It was more like a rent room of a normal flat. C'était plutôt comme une pièce so normale dans un appartement. So there were three of us. I and two other women. Trois, moi-même plus deux autres femmes. The president uh, was Question. the a room on the ground floor or on the first or second floor? Au rez-de-chaussée, au premier étage ou au deuxième étage? Response. It Réponse. was on the ground floor. Elle était au rez-de-chaussée. The president. Question. Do you know that the building uh, is a one-story building si le or a tall building? Un étage ou si c'était un bâtiment plus haut? Response. Réponse. The building was rather tall because at night uh, I could hear people soir, uh, the screams, uh, cris. the cries from people on top top. Me, it, it, it would, they would have been un, un, in, in the second floor or in the de first qui floors. Se trouvaient au de ma but tête, I did au not know what location it was at that time. Mais à l'époque, je ne savais pas de quel endroit il s'agissait. The president, uh, question. You said that you were detained vous in que vous avez a building. Dans what un was bâtiment. that building made of? Was it made of concrete or it was a wooden un bâtiment building? En bois ou un bâtiment en dur? Response. Réponse. It was a concrete building un with a, a floor, a concrete floor and uh, with windows and uh, metal bars on those windows. Barres métalliques aux fenêtres. The president, just now Question. you stated that Sorry, in the morning you stated matin, that the building in which you went were detained vous avez été enfermé, uh, was the, the, the concrete building, is that correct? It was a bâtiment en dur, c'est bien exact. Yeah, the one here, 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 the one here. That building is uh, is the one that I mentioned, and it oui, oui, I was detained near the stairs or the steps. Could you please de describe a little bit uh, the, the physical condition of the building? Say the president. 
I said that the, actually the building response uh, by the civil party was lying f uh, from the west to the east. Le bâtiment était yeah. allongé à l'aide d'ouest uh, en est. Question. Did you notice que any other buildings remarqué d'autres bâtiments in the premises or have you ever noticed uh, this at all? À proximité. Response. Réponse. I remember that there were oui, other buildings also. Bâtiments. And the, look, the, the compound was surrounded by a fence or wall. Et qu'il y avait un mur d'enceinte autour. Look, the president. Uh, Question. Have you noticed or heard any? Uh, cries from babies or children when you were detained. Est-ce que vous avez entendu des bébés ou des enfants Response. pleurer pendant votre séjour? Réponse. I heard uh, the cries from children. I heard the des cries from pigs. Pleurs d'enfants. J'ai entendu des very bad. Cochons aussi. I smell the, Et, euh, ça sentait très mauvais. Uh, the smell from the pig droppings ça and, sentait uh, la crotte de cochon. and others. Question. Question. The President. Were you told of any charges uh, upon being arrested? Est-ce que à votre arrestation on vous a dit ce qu'on vous reprochait? Response. Réponse. I was not asked, I was not told anything about the charges. On m'a rien demandé, on m'a rien dit euh, quant à ce qu'on me reprochait. The president, when you were interrogated, Question. you said uh, this morning that uh, Vous avez the interrogator asked, uh, interrogated you three times. Was the interrogator a man or a woman, or how many of them were there uh, when you were being interrogated? Des des Response: There were two people. Réponse: Il y avait deux personnes. I think they were. Young people, Je not an adult, the people uh, at the age of 15 or 16 years old. Jeune, pas très the âgé, president, were they boy, um, uh, young ans. boys or young girls? Le président, de sexe Response, they were boys, Réponse, no females. Hommes. Ce n'était pas des femmes. The president, how was the interrogation? Question. Conducted. One person, uh, one interrogator would be interrogating you while the other one was recording your confession? Or what was it like? Response. Réponse. I did not notice whether I was, uh, uh, my confession was uh, being recorded because I was blindfolded. I was asked whether I had attended any sessions, si education sessions about uh, the indoctrination of CIA or KGB networks and philosophy. CIA, and I KGB. told them that I never Et knew these je ne pas CIA or KGB. CIA KGB. I worked in the unit uh, Moi, and I devoted myself to concentrate on my work, for example, planting rice, exemple, uh, uh, putting water, make sure that the rice has enough water, for example. Arroser le riz, s'assurer que le riz est suffisamment irrigué. The president. Question. During your interrogation, Pendant votre interrogation, were you Shackled? Est-ce que vous étiez entravé? Jean made no. Réponse. 
I was not shackled, but my upper Moi, arms were tightly tied, and I was severely tortured. Bras, uh, I was scared at that time. I was bitten once, torturé. twice, été, uh, and for the third beating, I became fois. unconscious. Et au troisième passage à tabac, j'ai perdu Question. connaissance. How your upper arms Question. were tied? Uh, were your upper arms tied to the back, or were your hands tied with a rope, or were you cuffed? Est-ce que vous aviez des menottes? Est-ce que vous aviez les mains liées dans le dos? Je A nylon rope was used to tie my upper arm tightly to the back. Me lier le dessus des bras étroitement you dans le dos. You were tortured. Question, vous dites que vous avez été torturé. Did the interrogator torture you? How did they do it? Les how were you mistreated? Or how were you tortured? Comment? Quels sont les mauvais traitements qu'ils vous ont infligés? Response. Reply. When I Réponse. was interrogated. Lors de and when I provided the same response each time, I was bitten, not with a whip, but with a stick. Avec un bâton, pas avec un fouet, avec un I, bâton. It was not a whip because the sound was different, so I was Ce bitten with a stick. Parce que le bruit était, était pas and un I bruit think my fouet. ankle was clamped to something I could not see, but it was so painful. And there was a mark also on my upper arm as a result of the very tight uh, tightening to the back. After I was bitten during the interrogation and that I had no other response except the same one, then I was bitten again. I was also thrown a water at me. On me jetait From the de test l'eau. I failed, it was either a salt water or a soapy water. Et on me faisait ingérer de l'eau soit salée, soit savonneuse. Question. Question. During each of your interrogation Pendant from the start and when you were tortured, et pendant how long was torture. the duration of the interrogation until you became unconscious for each session? Was it a half a day, one hour, or two hours? Le où vous vous that is the entire Ça session of the interrogation, including the torture. Je veux dire, la durée totale de l'interrogatoire, y compris la torture, Response. jusqu'au moment où vous vous êtes I was interrogated and tortured. It was not that long. From what I could recall, it could be just a little bit over 30 minutes. Question. You became unconscious and when you regained consciousness, you were in a cell. Were you walked back to the cell or were you taken to the cell or they carried you to the cell? Est-ce qu'ils vous escortaient, vous faisaient marcher jusqu'à la cellule? Ils vous transportaient jusqu'à votre cellule? After I felt unconscious, après l'évanouissement, I think they dragged me by my upper arm back to my cell, and when they put me back into my cell, then they removed the blindfold. Question. The place where they interrogate, where they interrogated you, which direction uh, was it comparing to the location where you were detained and how far was it from your detention cell? A response. From what I can remember and the, the footsteps I took, it was to the north. It was not that far. Je pense qu'on allait vers le nord et ce n'était pas bien loin. If we walked, it takes a little while to reach that location. 
the president, uh, it's hard to define a little while. So if you consider in footsteps, how many footsteps? Response. It was like 20 to 30 footsteps to reach that location. Question. Question. When you were detained there, how did you relieve yourself? Votre incarcération, vous faisiez vos besoins comment? Response. Réponse. The three of us were put in the same cell dans la même and cellule. we relieved ourselves uh, at night. Ne faisait, When we wanted to relieve ourselves, we kicked the door. Nous devions donner un then the guard would come and ask uh, what we wanted, and we told them that we needed to relieve ourselves. Then the guard, the guard opened the door, then we would be blindfolded and taken to the place where we could relieve ourselves. The president. Were the guards male or female? Et les gardes étaient Response. de sexe masculin ou féminin? The guards were male. Masculin. Réponse masculin. Question. Question. How about taking a bath? Et pour ce qui était de vous laver, ça se passait comment? Response. Réponse. The three of us during the 15-day detention, detention de did jours, not ever have a bath. N'avons jamais eu le moyen de nous laver. Even if we were asked to have a bath, we would not do it. Même si on nous avait dit de nous Questions. laver. Question. Were you allowed to have a bath then? Question. Est-ce que vous aviez la permission de vous laver? R response. Réponse. Comrade Nguyen and Yat were Les asked to Nguyen go to take a bath. On leur a dit d'aller prendre un bain. But when she returned, Mais she said retour, us, it seems that she had no good feeling. And she told us if we were asked to go to take a bath, we should not go. We would rather die without taking a bath. Euh, Question. Que si were any baigner, reasons given to you for that? Response. Question, she did not tell us anything, she just warned us if we were asked to take a bath, then we should not go. We rather died in the detention cell. Question. So it means you and your other two females were not prohibited from talking to each other because it seems that you talked to each other quite a lot and that you could talk amongst yourself. Is this correct? Response. We could Réponse. talk to each other, oui, but it is not, it's not open and Mais loud. We could look in each other's face and we signal to talk to each haute. other nous, quietly without letting nous nous the other people outside hear. Question. What about the food ration? Question. How many meals were given to you each day? And what was the meal like? Were you given gruel or rice? And was it regular? Response. On the first day, we were given gruel. There was a mac. It's like a, 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 a handle folded mac. If we use it in a battlefield, so they would put the gruel into that mug. For the first three or four days, we could not eat. We were given meals twice a day, but none of us could eat the gruel. We only asked for water. Question. So it means the food that was given to you 
question. Donc, was two times a day, and each time you had a gruel on the mac. Is this correct? Dans une grande tasse. Response: Yes, that is correct. correct. Although oui, correct. The, it, it was only one ladle Mais to pour into the mac, it was not louche. filled up La tasse pas in the mac. Question. So do you have a spoon uh, to eat from the mac, or and whether the mac was uh, taken away from you after you ate, tasse, vous était or you could keep the mac mangé, with you and use it to put the gruel that was given to you at each meal? Pour, uh, être par vous à chaque repas? Response, the Réponse. mac and the la spoon, we kept them. Nous la gardions. So for each meal, when they Donc bring the gruel, they threw away the previous food that we didn't eat, and they put a new gruel in. Le reste, un mangé, non mangé de la fois précédente, était simplement jeté, et puis on y remettait la nouvelle bouillie. Question. Question. You have stated that when you were arriving at the detention center, you were not asked for biography or your photograph was not taken, but in your complaints there are two documents, which are your personal documents, and please uh, tell us whether the documents are related to you. The AV officer, can you project the document 0034319 in the Khmer language, which was a photo? The President, uh, Jen Maid, can you look at the Madame photograph? Jeanette, can you recognize her? Photo. Que vous cette person? Jen Maid, this is my Réponse. photograph. Oui, moi. At that time, I was 19 years old. 19 ans à the President. Question. How do you know that you were 19 years old at the time? Comment when was the photograph taken? Que vous aviez 19 ans. Cette photo a été prise quand? It was taken Réponse. in 1977 or 1978. When I was in the, my unit, I, the unité, photograph was taken from me as well. Because when my unit chief unité, asked me to make my biography, and I was photographed at the same time. Ma biographie, on a pris Question. Ma photo en même temps. Was it at S21 or at another Question. location when your unit Ça chief asked you to make your biography? Was it at S21 or at Preso? It was at Preso when I was in unit 17. Nyo was the unit chief. Question. Question. You said that uh, you, when you were in Unit oui, 17, you were skinny and you had a skin rash on your face. Maigre, but from the photograph, you were tétanique. not that skinny. La photo, uh, was it the photograph when you were skinny at the time? Ça, une photo de vous maigre? Response. Réponse. When I first arrived at Unit 17, je suis à unit 17, a few days later, I was called jours to a building. It's like their office. And they took down my biography, and they took my photograph. AB unit, can you go unit to document 0034-3200?
Can you look at the photo? Can you recognize the photo? La photo is it you? Est-ce que c'est bien And vous? also look at the personal history. Et regardez aussi la biographie. Whose personal history is it? C'est la biographie de qui? John Met. This is my Et photograph. C'est bien. From what I can recall, this personal biography Cette was made at my former division. It was the third division number 450 division, in late 1977. I was called to make personal history three times in one month. I was questioned about my, about my native uh, village and the occupation of my parents and when I joined the revolution. When I joined the revolution, I stated that I was a poor person. Uh, I came from a poor person family, but after they researched and asked people, they learned that I was a daughter of a police officer who worked in Phnom Penh and that I was raised by my grandfather and I was not involved with my father. However, my father provided the necessary financial and material support. So they said that I was in the lower middle class peasant. Judge Lavange, you take the floor. Excusez-moi. Pour les besoins du transcript, j'indique que le document qui est actuellement sur les écrans a été traduit en anglais et qui figure au code ERN suivant 0034-74-2010. À 0034 74 Donc il s'agit de la traduction de la biographie qui figure à la cote E2 bar 80 bar 4.2. The President, it is now time for a break. The Chamber will take a 20-minute break. We will resume at a quarter past three. So please, uh, for the public audience, please return before the time the court resumed. Court officer, please provide necessary refreshment to the civil party.